into position our edges. Sometimes on our top we have to do it twice. But right now we've got a set that's all lined up. So whenever you see that, then the one that isn't lined up is the one that needs to trade. So when these two trade against these two, that will finish off our top. These reds will line up with this red. This orange will wind up over there. Everything will fix itself, so we'll just do our trade. Every once in a while when you get done with the trade, the bottom will also be done. In this case it isn't. So what do I do? Just go, say, Okay, this is right, so we need to trade these two and go about trading them. Unfortunately, our trade has side effects. So the first thing we do is if we know there's a good one that we can trade with the bad one, then we just go and trade it. So I'll trade this blue and blue corner with this yellow and yellow corner. Now sometimes when they're diagonally traded, one here and one here, then you'll just have to trade any two things places to get started. But I must trade a good one with a bad one. In other words, two wrongs make a right. I have to trade it so I can damage my bottom layer. Now I find which two are in place. This time it's red. So that means this orange needs to be traded with this yellow. This time when I trade this set of two against this set of two, then our damage that we did last time is going to be repaired. Now, we have two situations that can arise with finishing off that are both trivial to deal with. One is when this is not square, but rather at a little bit of an angle. To deal with that, we turn our top to our bottom, flip our bottom a 180, twist it and bring it 180, bring it back. That squared it up. Looks like our other we got our other situation now that once squared up, we don't have everything agreeing. We have oranges, but yet blue and yellow don't agree. Yellow and blue don't agree. So in that case, then we turn both top and bottom 180 instead of just bottom. Bring it back. And now that fixed the middle. So that is how you solve the square one. At least the way I do it. There's lots of ways. I've been on the internet and I've seen solutions that to put it into a square you have to, they have a chart of 90 something positions of how to get it into a square. And that's somewhat ridiculous to have to remember all that. The other thing is I have all sorts of move sequences for how to bring pieces like an isolated piece from the bottom to the top and how to trade pieces around once you get them to the top. The reason I have done the way I've done is I used to know most of those sequences but I haven't solved this thing in over two years. I finally got some construction paper, fixed my stickers so I could prepare a YouTube video and the only thing I could remember is how to trade these two places and that was my original solution that I remembered. So all of my fancy move here and move there, I've forgotten all that. But yet being able to trade opposites, I remember. Being able to trade corners and get them in position to where I can trade opposites, I remember. And so I have basically given you a solution that I can remember, even though it's been two years since I last solved the square one. I just pulled out the camera, solved it for YouTube with a technique that I can remember, but I've forgotten all my quick moves. Thank you.